welcome to Lee Haney's Championship Workout. Today we're going to be training chest and bicep. This time we're going to be using dumbbells, which is excellent for penetrating deep within the muscle fiber. We'll be back in a moment, and David and I will show you exactly how it's done. Consult your physician before you start exercising with Lee Haney. Okay, now we're ready to begin our workout. We're going to start first with dumbbell press, which is excellent for really penetrating the pecs and also building nice mass and quality. We're also going to be doing something a little bit different. Different in the way that I'm not going to be pumped. I'm going to use David's body this time, okay? That way I can give you a good idea of exactly how it's done and what's happening. Okay, Dave, select the weight that'll be great for you. It feels good. Not too heavy. We're going to start with a lighter weight and work our way up. That's very important. Very important. You have to kill me now, are you, lady? I don't think so. I think I'll be merciful to you, okay? okay. Here we go, baby. Come on. Easy way. You're doing presses now? All right, dumbbell presses. Here we go. All right. You want to come up, come down in a controlled way, and squeeze the pecs at the top. Now, this is basically set up for mass. It's different than a dumbbell fly. So you want to explode at the top of the movement, just as you would when doing bench press. That's it. You want to explode. Yes. Jump it through the ceiling. Yes. We're talking six to eight reps. No more than six to eight reps. And when doing these, you want to take a little bit more of a breathe in between sets than you would, let's say, if you're doing a um, dumbbell fly. One more, day. That's good. Okay, bring them together. Okay? Now raise up with them. Okay? Like this? No. Raise them up and set them on the floor, amateur. That's it. Now notice, <laughs> just for a few seconds, they forgot exactly what was happening there. When you're putting the dumbbells back or when you're finishing each set, you want to balance them in such a way that you're able to raise up. Don't just drop the dumbbells off to the side. You can rip a peg or either end up hurting your joints and so forth. All right, Dave. You just lay those off to the side, Dave. Now, generally, you know, you want to make sure that you put the weights back on the rack. You don't want to be sloppy, okay? All right, Dave. Let's select another weight that is. Pump up, pump up yeah, the let's, let's pump it up a little bit more, okay? <laughs> okay. That's kind of light. Do what you feel. First, set them in the floor. I set them on your knees, just like so. Just like so. Now, David has excellent form when it comes to, to making sure that the weight is in place. Also, making sure that uh, he's in control of the movement. You want to make sure you got good control. Just don't grab the weight and fall back. Make sure you're able to handle it. All right, this is excellent technique. Go ahead, Dave. Notice the way he rocks back with him. He's already in control, so he's ready to pump away now. Here we go, second set. Squeeze at the top. What do you think about twisting them? That's why when you said turn them. We're talking the dumbbell fly like then. That's more of your fly. Okay. This is your dumbbell press. Mm -hmm. Press. Okay. Yeah. We're talking mass and power. And explosion. Yeah. Good. That's good. Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Give me two more. Seven. One more. Eight. All right. That's it, Dave. Super. All right. That's an excellent set. Excellent set. All right, baby. That's good. I think everybody more or less got the picture of what we're trying to convey here. What we're going to do next, we're going to move right into incline presses, incline dumbbell presses, which are excellent for building the upper part of the pec. We just hit the middle and the lower part of the pec. Now we're going to move right into the upper part of the pec, which is excellent for that delt upper pec tie-in. Okay. All right, baby. Okay. Okay. You want to use, you want to stay around a 35 degree angle. If you want to go too high on this, you got to be very careful with it. Okay. All right, Dave. Go ahead and select the weight that's going to be comfortable for you. Okay. Okay. All right. Same thing with these. Same thing. Put them on your knees first. Right, place them on your knee and then kick them up. Kick them up. That's it. That's great. There we go. Really reach high, huh? Reach high with them. Okay, this is also explosion. Also explosion. Now, you don't have to clang the, the, the uh, weights together. A lot of people end up getting a bunch of trash in the eye by doing so, or metal, so you gotta be careful. Let's go, amateur. I knew you'd do that. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. There again, six to eight reps. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. Two more. Yes. That's good. One more. Yes. That's good. All right, baby. Okay, that's super. All right, just set them up on the floor, Dave. Okay. Pump up the volume. Up the volume. All right. Do what you feel. All right. All right, that's real good. Okay, now 
set them in the floor, set them in the floor. Get you a little breather, set them on your leg. Either way, just get you a little breather. You never want to rush into these things. You want to make sure that you're in control. The mind is fresh. A lot of times what we tend to do is take just a little time to psych, to psych ourselves when doing these. You, know, you want to really concentrate and make sure that the mind and the muscles link together. By doing so, you're going to be able to push off an excellent set. Right, Dave? Nice. Let's rock and roll. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Yes. Three. That's good. Five. Come on. Six. Come on. Come on. Eight. That's it, baby. That's it. That's it. All right. Super. Set them in the floor, Dave. It's good. It's good. How's that chest feeling? I'll tell you what, it's feeling pretty pumped. Hey, why don't you show the people what we're looking like there? Come on. Right. Give me a nice, most muscle. All right. That's great. I'm trying to find And we're now ready to continue our chest workout. This time we're going to be doing dumbbell slides. We're going to start first with the flat bench, then go to the incline. Since I've killed David during the lag segment, I'll now rely on Pete. Are we ready, Pete? Let's do it. Let's go, baby. All right. Now, with the dumbbells and doing the fly is differently than doing the dumbbell press or bench. You want to start with a lighter weight because this is what is called a, a rhythmic type of movement, which is high rep quality, whereas the other type, which is the presses and the bench, is basically for mass. All right. Stay with me, baby. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So, Pete, we're going to do, do the first set by using at least around, oh, Roughly around 40, 40 pounds here. Okay, we want to come up, squeeze, and flex the pecs at the top of the movement. Come down in a controlled way. This is more controlled. It's not explosive or not explosive. You're always in control of the movement here. No explosion, no snapping, no jerking. You come up and squeeze and flex the pecs. Squeeze. Really want to isolate. Yes. And I notice as you're bringing them up, you're rotating your wrists in a little bit. See, what's happening, Pete, I'm able to bring more of the muscle fibers into play by doing so. Mm -hmm. There's several ways you can do a fly. Now, this, this is one way. This is the way that I prefer. But then the other way is like so. You come up, and you're still squeezing the pecs. Sort of a hug emotion here. But the other way, turn them in and squeeze. You can, you can really, really squeeze out the extra little bit when twisting the dumbbell at the top of the movement. We're looking at around three to four sets, reps around 12 to 15. Well, I'm going to try my Mr. Oh, but after you winning the Mr. Olympia seven times in a row, I just can't believe it. It's incredible. So I'm going to try your way. It's incredible. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm still on high from that. It's still sore from it, too. Good. Notice Pete is coming out using good control. But notice he's also clinging the dumbbells at the top like most amateurs do, <laughs> which is not necessary. All you do is get a bunch of trash in the eye. You'll be a one-eyed <laughs> amateur. Let's go, baby. Squeeze up. I think most amateurs just like to hear it clang at the top, you know? Something about that, right? It makes it sound heavier. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. I like that. Squeeze it. Yeah. Squeeze it. No, the feet is using excellent form here. Excellent form. We're making sure he's, he's staying in control of the movement. He's not allowing uh, himself to lose control on the way down. A lot of guys come down, our ladies, and they hang at the bottom. I also notice his elbows is, is uh, not locked all the way out here. You don't hop it so that he don't, won't hop or extend. We got to be real careful of that. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. You want a little heavy leg? Yeah. A little heavy. As I said, it's, it's not the quantity during this movement. It's the quality. All right. Woo. Okay, Lee. Here we go, baby. Rocking and rolling. Do it. Come on. Just got five pounds more here. That's all we need. Always be in control. That's the most important thing. Wait, I notice you don't overstretch at the bottom either. I don't. You I know, see some guys just try to bring the dumbbells down to the floor almost to get too much of a stretch. I you can, can, yeah, you, you're right. You know, what I've seen happen, a lot of several professional bodybuilders have ripped their bicep muscles when doing dumbbell fly. All right, all right. a bicep when training the chest. You gotta be careful. Do not overextend the tendons or the ligaments. Drive 55 and stay alive.
It's always been my motto. Okay, Lee, come on. Sets. It's good enough. Three or four sets, repetition between 12 and 15. Come on, Pete, let's knock this one out, then we'll go to incline. And we gotta really think it all the way through. Notice Pete is not turning in as I was doing, which, as I said, well, this is what you were doing, right? I was turning and it in. Squeeze like that. Right. You can do a combination. You don't have to turn it in. Just make sure you maintain the correct amount of tension. Especially at the top. A lot of people have a tendency to relax when at the top. You don't want to do that. You want to squeeze all the way through. That way, one rep equals two. All right, Pete. Okay, next we're going to move into incline. Incline fly. There again, rhythmic quality, not quantity. Okay? What would you suggest the best angle for the best? No, Pete, I'll 30, stay around. 30, 30 35. 45, you start putting a little bit too much stress on the delt. You want to watch your chest. And, you know, a little delt is okay, but not too much. Here we go, okay. baby. Okay, look. Beautiful. Get there again. Upper pecs. Strong. Squeezing all the way through. As I said, you can use this type of technique here. Or as you come up, you can squeeze at the top. I can even see more of a contraction when you squeeze at the top there. Yeah, I can feel it more, too. All the way around, you know, you really, you can really push yourself into it. More and more reps. More and more fire. That open the chest workout. Squeeze it all the way through. That's it, Lee. Come on. That's it. It just takes a little bit more thought, a great deal more thought than doing a dumbbell press or a bench press. Really got to think about what you're doing here. The mind and the muscle must be linked together. One without the other is zero. Come on, baby. Excellent. Very good, Pete. Very good. Squeeze. It's good. Come on. Squeeze. Uh, yes. Kind of like hugging your girlfriend, right? Eh? Yeah. I like hugging a, a bear. <laughs> <laughs> or a big girl. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. Squeeze. squeeze. Think about it. Oh, yeah. Man, all right. Thank you, cheated, Pete. I didn't count both three oh, reps. <laughs> but keep down on these amateurs. Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. And here we want to try to do at least around four sets, uh, three to four sets. That's great. Hey, okay. There again, we're using only the dumbbells. Only dumbbells. Come on. Come on. Reps, 12 or 15, just as I said. We're doing rhythmic. This is rhythmic, not explosion. David and I did explosive movements. Now we're using the dumbbell in a rhythmic way. Okay, we got it? All right, baby. How was that, Pete? Beautiful. Was it cool? Beautiful. Okay, I think we got our point across. Write to Lee Haney, care of High Bar Productions, Post Office Box 785, Radio City Station, New York, New York, 10101. Now we're ready to blast the biceps. And joining me for this segment is my protege, David. All right, what we're going to be doing now, we're going to first start with standing out in the dumbbell curls, which is excellent for building mass and power. It's also an explosive movement. Then we're going to go right into concentration curls, which is great for bringing out the peak of the bicep here. Let's rock and roll, Dave. Right, yeah. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start first with a lighter weight and work our way up. Now, this is an exercise designed for mass and power, so we're going to be using some heavy weight here. All right, Dave. Okay. Right in. Now... About three to four sets, reps being somewhere between six to eight. It's okay to cheat slightly on this type of movement. As I said, it is explosive, just as barbell curls off. Here we go. All right, Lee. Yeah. Squeeze them. Two. Yeah. Two. All right, Lee. Squeeze them up. Three. Big arms. Three. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Squeeze it up. Good. Notice with 
exploding at the top. Yeah. We hit it at the top and we come right back down. Squeeze them, Lee. Good. Come on. Very different than a concentration. It's not necessary to use strict form when doing these. It's not designed for that. We use the strict form when doing the concentration or the preacher curl. Here we go, baby. It's okay to put a little back into it. Come on, that's good, Dave. Hey, yeah, I had to mention something. Since we've been working out, I never really used uh, lifting gloves before. But since I've been on this show, using your gloves, they you know, really have a great feel. This glove is specifically set up for hard training. It's not a cosmetic glove. I don't care about pretty yeah. hands. That's but for, uh, you know. I've tried many gloves. I never seem to get the right feel. But with this, it's nice because it also has the wrist strap. That's the key. Which keeps your wrist nice and stable. That's the key. I don't care anything about calluses. Calluses feel good to me. Exactly. But having that wrist support. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Let's go, baby. Come on. Yeah. That's right. good. Okay, okay, just drop them, Dave. All right. Drop them. All right, okay, we're going to pop up the volume a little. We're using heavy weight. This is an explosive movement. Now, I'm going to show you something a little different this time. We alternated off of that set. We alternated, but what we did, we surfed, also used what is called serpination, which we twist the dumbbell at the top. This time, we're going to keep it straight. Okay, and this is a rough one. Oh, yeah, come on, Lou. Oh. Squeeze it. Yeah. Really get that blood in there. Man. Good. Come on, Lee. Squeeze him up, man. This is it. This is what it's all about. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Woo. Good. Yeah. Come on, Lee. Yeah. Woo. That's rough. <laughs> you know, doing these, there's not a whole lot of conversation to be brought to, to come about during this type of workout. So you want me to leave in this, in this position? Whichever is comfortable to you, Dave. I was just making the point to the audience okay. that you can't make a switch there. Okay. I see David is doing what is called uh, surfing a nation. By twisting at the top, we split, helps us bring the split and the separation and the bicep and the tricep there, okay? Come on. Come on. Woo! Yeah. Come on. Squeeze that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And as I said, it's okay to cheat with these. No problem. Come on. Six to eight reps. That's all we need. All right. Woo. That's cool, Dave. Okay, we got our point across there. As I said, three to four sets, reps no more than six days. Okay, now. We finish the explosive part of the movement. Now we're going into rhythm, which would be concentration. Now, in doing this, we do want to use a weight that we're able to control, okay? So, it's important, too, to mention for young uh, bodybuilders, when they first start out, they're only playing big arms, big chest, you know, we just finished doing chest right. and arms. Mm -hmm. They do tons of sets. I mean, how do you feel about that? My philosophy has always been stimulate, not annihilate. You want to feel the workout, feel the pump, but don't kill the muscle. Okay. It's very important to make sure that you do just enough to stimulate, and then allow the muscle enough time to recover. Very important. Training, 25%. Nutrition, 75 to 80. Okay, here we go, Dave. Right. Okay, concentration. Yeah. I notice we're coming up. This is done very strict with good form. We come up and we squeeze at the top. Like so. This is a real Easy. mind to muscle link uh, exercise, huh? Easy. You have to be in control of this one. We're talking around 12 reps here. And there it doesn't matter with the weight. That's what, and it's so important. You see guys taking the heavy weight and swinging it up, you know? Not made for that. Concentration is not made for that. You want to really be able to isolate each and every fiber when doing this. Concentration, huh? That's it. That means mind and muscle. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't want to distract you. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh! Man, you can really feel it in the head. You can really see that. You get the massage on the nose. Yeah. After the, after the set. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. You really see the, the peak coming up on, on the top of the screen. This is one of the best things in the world. It's been used forever. Yeah. Arnold, Sergio, Larry Scott, every professional. It's out there in the world of bodybuilding. I've used these at one point 
in their career in order to build a massive bicep head. Really took that finishing touch on the bicep. Good. Woo! Good right. time, baby. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go. Right. Let's go, Dane. Either way, baby. Either way. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I tell you what, you you in for a fantastic future in bodybuilding, professional bodybuilding. But the way you execute your exercises, the way you take care of your nutrition, has all has made the difference, a tremendous difference. Come on, squeeze it at the top. That's what it's all about. You're doing a fantastic job. Come on. That's real good. That's what it's all about. Mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Ain't that right, Dave? <laughs> the world's greatest bodybuilder, Lee Haney, winner of seven straight Mr. Olympia titles, beating Arnold Schwarzenegger's record. <laughs> Now you too can learn the same secrets that made me the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Lee Haney introduces three new training videos for the arms, chest, and legs. Presenting the Power Arm Workout for those looking to be armed and dangerous. Add mass and power to your biceps. Sculpt and define your triceps. The Massive Chest Workout. Let Mr. Olympia Lee Haney help you blast those pecs and develop that titanic chest. The Explosive Leg Workout is a muscle-pumping video with leg-blasting routines and monstrous squats that add size to the thighs and calves. Now is your chance to purchase the complete package. Buy all three videos and save $30. That's right. Buy all three and save $30. Or buy each separately and pay $39.99. Work out with Lee Haney and learn Mr. Olympia's secrets. Call toll-free and order now. The Weeder Tip of the Week. Baby so did an excellent job, you know. <laughs> I'm sweating up a storm here, man. That was well, you know, it's okay. If it doesn't keep you, it's going to make you strong. You know, I know, also noticed that your form was great, your technique, and all of that. You know, fell right into play, which is the reason why you've been so successful. <laughs> well, you know? I've been trying. I've been trying. <laughs> I think uh, from being with you really gives me a lot of inspiration, especially being on the show. Well, yeah. thanks. You know, you've just won your... Your first big major title, right? The uh, natural junior Mr. USA, and right. you know he owned the big and better things after that, right? Yeah, I hope so. I That's hope fantastic, so. Fantastic, man. Really training hard. You know, just just how important, uh, you know, just let the audience know how uh, the, the, how important have your nutrition played in in getting you to that point? Big, big part, I would say. Nutrition really, uh, I think, took a big step uh, for this last competition. That really turned around a lot. From the old way of uh, going on the high protein, high fat type diet, uh, I switched around and went to a, a higher complex carbohydrate diet, lower fat and moderate protein, and I found that that really, really helped me a lot. Well, I tell you what, I could I could see it in the cover that you were on in Natural Physique. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.